Main event flyweight championship, Davidson Figueredo versus Joseph Benavidez. We got Thicker Than Blood podcast here, Justin Mariko, to break it down for us. What's up, everyone? Justin is back, Thicker Than Blood podcast, with a combat chat. We're going to break down this night's main event. UFC flyweight title, Joseph Benavides versus, I'm gonna do my best to not butcher this name, Davison Figueredo. That could be right, could be wrong, I don't know. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section, shall we? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to go to my friend Kyle Kerms' channel and subscribe to him as well for all sports, not just UFC. If you like betting, that is the guy to go to. Let's break this fight down and talk about the previous fight first. This is a rematch, as most people know, for the UFC flyweight title, 125 pounds. So, let's look at Joseph Benavides. This guy is an absolute legend in mixed martial arts. He has fought the best of the best. He has fought the best of the best, meaning Demetrius Johnson, twice. This guy has, I believe, had three title shots, and he has not walked away with the strap before. I believe this will be his fourth title shot with never holding a belt. Very, very, very technical and talented fighter. The guy's been around for so long. I believe he's got like 25 fights or something like that. He's only lost to the best guys. Now, and oh, you need to point, point at this. This is one of the people that has beaten Henry Cejudo, who bend the knee to Triple C. Anyone who watches the UFC knows who this guy is. He just retired recently, but he's a two division champ and he is also an Olympic gold medalist in wrestling. This is one of the only guys to beat him besides Demetrius Johnson. So, Joseph Benavides is rematching Figueredo. So, let's talk about Figueredo real quick. This guy is 18 and one with nine knockouts and I believe six submissions. Very, very, very dangerous fighter. But this guy is another one plagued by the dreaded weight cut. Seems to have trouble making weight at 125 pounds. This dude is humongous for the weight class. I personally wanna see him go up to 135. After whatever happens with this fight, that's kind of what I want to see for him next. So, let's talk about the fight they had first. In the first fight, Figueredo missed weight. They go and they're fighting for the strap at 125. Hamish Judo is technically relinquishing the title to these guys when that fight took place. So, Joseph Benavides comes out. He's kind of aggressive in the beginning and a lot of movement and it seems as though the cardio edge is going to be going to Joseph Benavides. But let me tell you something. When Davidson threw his punches, it was absolutely, positively clear who had the power out of the two. This guy, when he's landing, looks like he is hitting them with a baseball bat. These guys feel it, and they feel it very quickly. But the problem is that this guy has never been dragged into deep waters before. So it makes me question, how is this guy's gas tank going to hold up? So, Joseph Benavides has been in a lot of wars, a lot of five-round fights. So. In that last fight, it only went two rounds. It seems as though Joseph had the cardio edge. A lot of strikes coming out, throwing the leg kicks, varying up the strikes, but every time he was throwing strikes at Davidson, every single time when he was throwing his hands, he was dropping his head, dropping his head, throwing his overhand rights, overhand lefts. He's dropping his head, he's leading with his head every time. And that ended up backfiring on him severely, not because he got punched in the face, because Davidson Figueredo came in at the same time and we had a clash of heads and a humongous gash opens up on Benavides' head and there's blood everywhere. Just so happens right after that, Joseph Benavides is like, oh fuck. Sometimes something like that happens and you get a little concussed. Not long after that, Davidson Figueredo comes in and lands a beautiful right hand right into the mouth of Joseph Benavides and puts him down and he ends up winning the TKO. It seemed like in that fight, if that clash of heads did not happen, and Joseph Benavides kept outpointing Davidson Figueredo and dragged him into rounds four, three, four, and five, there would have been a cardio issue, and we may have seen Joseph Benavides winning by unanimous decision. It's very possible, but that's not what happened. We saw a knockout, we saw a clash of heads, the guy ended up losing. Davidson Figueredo missed weight, so he can't win the belt. So the belt is still vacant. Now we have the rematch. Me personally going into this fight, everything I just said, dragging him into deep water and so on, Davidson Figueredo makes weight this time. Joseph Benavita makes weight because he always does. 
going into this fight, you say to yourself, will Figueredo get dragged into deep water? Will he tire out? Let's be real here. I'm gonna be a realist with you. I really do believe that Joseph Benavides is gonna go into this fight, fight the same exact way, and I really think that Davison Figueredo is just gonna have that pinpoint accuracy like he did in that last fight. He's not gonna throw a lot of volume, but when he throws that strike and he lands, he puts people down. He's got nine knockouts, man. And that flyweight, you gotta admit, that's pretty impressive. I think that Davidson Figueredo wins this fight against Joseph Benavides by knockout again. And honestly, I think it's gonna happen in the same round. Round two knockout, Davidson Figueredo. I think he's actually coming in in the favorite as this one. He wasn't the favorite in the last fight. I guess people are starting to notice a trend here. The guy won the last one, now he's the favorite. My pick is Davidson Figueredo by knockout of Joseph Benavides. Let me know what your pick is. Do you have Joseph Benavides winning this by unanimous decision? Do you have Davidson Figueredo winning this by knockout or TKO? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I am Justin, Thicker Than Blood Podcast, Combat Chat. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you go to our Instagram and follow us there at Thicker Than Blood Podcast. Make sure you go to my buddy Kyle Kerms. Follow him on his Instagram, Kyle Kerms, K R O. K-I-R-M-S. Go to his YouTube channel. Same thing. Kyle Kerms. Go and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Ring that notification bell. Let us know what you think. Justin Mariko, Combat Chat, Thick in the Blood Podcast, and I am out.